My task tonight is to update you on our relief distribution efforts. As you have been told, I am the chairperson of the Food and General Supplies Subcommittee, which is a subcommittee of NIPO. And we have been charged with that responsibility to identify food supplies for distribution to communities. To date, we have prepared packages and we have distributed packages to most of the affected areas. In fact, I was very pleased today when I heard that at least our relief supplies reach delices. Um, in the very early stages, we will be challenged with regards to access to some of the communities because we depended on helicopter lift to get us to some of the communities. Um, that has been a problem, but the fact that we have now created access, road access to most communities, it will make our task of distributing food to the affected areas much easier. I believe to date most areas can be accessed by road. We have also attempted to, to improve on the organizational structure that we have in place for the distribution of relief supplies. And we, as, we have, as part of NIPO, we have the Food and General Supplies Subcommittee. What we have attempted to do, and even today we had a meeting with a subcommittee to assist us in terms of improving the delivery of service. And um, there is what we have created, what we call an, uh, an administrative arm to support the relief distribution effort. And um, we have created some subcommittees of that arm to assist that process. In the, in, in, in the area of transportation and, and, and um, distribution, we have seen the need for better liaison, better um, connection, coordination between what we do at the Food and General Supply Subcommittee and getting the products, the commodities to the communities. So we have persons in place right now who will take charge, take responsibility for making that link, that liaison to coordinate the deliveries that we have already um, prepared for the communities to get them to the communities. So that is one of the subcommittees that we have created. We call it the Transportation and Distribution Subcommittee. We also have, in terms of the port, um, most to, I mean, to date, most of what we have done in terms of distribution, most of the, of the supplies have been um, sourced locally. Um, so a lot of the, 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 the supplies we, we, we have received from the merchants locally and some of the, that we have purchased. In fact, some have been don donations and some we have purchased. But in the next few days, in the next few weeks, we are going to be re receiving quite a bit of um, supplies from overseas. So here we have to put systems in place for receiving the goods that would be coming from overseas. So we have already um, established some, uh, set up um, personnel to receive goods that are coming by sea and to receive goods that are coming by air. So that subcommittee has met, in fact, we had one delivery already today coming from, I think it was, uh, it is from Barbados some small quantities that we received from, from Barbados. We expect to receive some supplies some, sometime on, on Thursday from, from Martinique. So already the, the subcommittee has already started its work in terms of helping us to improve on the efficiencies with which we, we operate. And there is also <clears throat> a liaison committee that we need to be able to, ac to assess better the needs of the communities. Presently, and again, given the challenges that we had in terms of getting the information from the communities, a lot of what we have been doing in terms of distribution has been based on our best judgment. Um, what we have done as part of the Food and General Supply Subcommittee, we have worked out some what we consider to be basic rations for a family of four for, uh, for at least a period of one week. And even if we do not have the exact information coming from the communities, if we have the numbers, we can use um, the ration so that we can, we can provide food for the communities. 
But moving forward, what the liaison committee is going to do, they will get, will get a better sense as to what is happening on the ground, and that information will be fed to um, the Food and General Supply Subcommittee. And then we will be able to, with more confidence, determine what the sizes of those packages will be and distribute to the communities. There is a, a very close link between what we do and what um, the Welfare Subcommittee does. So this, Mr. Martin Anthony will speak about it. Um, <clears throat> to date again, um, the, most of what we have been distributing, a lot of it, I mean, there's a, a very high demand for water. And we probably would have um, distributed more than probably close to 800 cartons of water to all the communities. Um, the capacity is an issue locally because um, we, the, the, we, we have basically two of the main companies bottling water. And I mean, we have practically used up most of all of what they have. So, so there is a need for us to replenish our stock. So we are in communication with them to place in orders so that we can have some more, um, especially of the water available to us. Um, as I, I also mentioned the fact that on, 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 I think on the third, we will be receiving some supplies from Martinique and I think some of that will be water. So that, that again will augment our stock of water. Um, <clears throat> and in terms of donations, we have received, and in fact, we had a very good meeting with the, with the distributors. And um, we want to thank the distributors for the kind of commitment and the support that they are providing to assist us in that process. So a lot more, the distributors have committed themselves to providing um, goods on, on discount and also to be able to use um, their transportation. So transportation is, is at our disposal that we can use transportation to get to the, to the different communities. Um, so again, I just want to thank them for, for, what it, for the effort that they, the, the private sector <coughs> that they have provided so far in terms of um, the donations that they have provided to us. I mean, sometime later we will be able to acknowledge everybody, but for now we just want to say thank you to them, and that is helping our relief effort. Um, <clears throat> at the end of the day, we, in terms of how we operate, we do an inventory of what stock do, that we have and what it is that we require to replenish. And uh, <clears throat> I have been told by, by. Um, <clears throat> one of the committees that we have persons available who have been trained in SUMA, which is a, a inventory control management process. And those persons, um, from tomorrow, we will deploy those persons to assist in terms of inventory. Because one of the things that we have to be very careful about, and we want to, be, to, to, do, to do it right, is the whole question of accountability. We want to ensure that when things arrive in Dominica, that we have the correct information as to what we have received and correct information as to what we have dispatched from the warehouses, correct information as to what the communities are receiving. At the end of the day, we want to ensure that whatever we receive reaches the community. That is the main thing. We do not want to have goods packaged in the warehouse that cannot reach the community. So basically, that is where we are in terms of um, the operations, and I think um, it, it is it, it is improving, it is improving. I think what we, what we have seen is a huge improvement in terms of the management of the operations. And I, and, and I, and I thank those persons who have volunteered their services to assist us to do it. <clears throat>